Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the tone of pressure. We just did a vid video on pitch. Now let's look at tone. Tone is musical or vocal sound with reference to pitch, quality, and strength. So pitch is part of the tone definition. So pitch is numerically, empirically verifiable. 100 hertz, 100 vibrations per second. 200 hertz, 200 vibrations per second. So that's all defined and, and verifiable. So pitch is empirically verifiable, tone is not. When you start bringing in quality and strength, that becomes subjective, so tone is not. So we have this balancing act. So quality, strength, bring in the subjectivity of it. Too bad, too good, too strong or too weak. You know, those are subjective terms. That's what you hear people say, too much, you know, too strong whatever it is. So room tone is a balance between that quality and strength. You got to deal with that. You can do it. We have the treatment to do that. So quality, we got to pressure balance the room first in all locations. Low frequencies are a nightmare. They produce pressure pockets and that are exaggerated or attenuated, and you can't have any of that inconsistency in a room, especially with energy that's going to be oscillating through the room all the time. So the room has to be able to manage those oscillations of energy equally on all surface areas. So it has to be done. Our CAW can do that. Room should manage low frequency everywhere. No 10 to 12 dB, you know, none of that double camel hump we always see, you know, or we see this a lot. Then it drops way down here around 70 to 80. If you get two peaks and a big dip, this can be almost 20 dB. So that's crazy. You can't have those kind of spatial irregularities. Must be balanced with the mids and highs. Reverb balance throughout the room. It's same as pressure. You got to balance the reverb times throughout the room. Make them consistent. You get all this done, then you can introduce diffusion. Pressure balance the room. Reflection manage the room. Get the reverb times managed correctly. Then you're ready for a diffusion. Because diffusers act like a magnifying glass. They'll make your room sound worse if you don't have those criteria done first. Tack and decay rates, another one. So tone and pitch, I hope you see the relationship here. You have to have a high resolution room to uh, understand that. If you need a little help for reference musically, go back to the 80s and 90s and listen to some live recordings <laughs> and have the ability to manage. Uh, tone and pitch too much back then because it was all analog. But anyway, you get an idea of it and with the definition and the two parts to pitch and tone are kind of interesting. So tone of pressure. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.